Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Crisologo, Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight some of the key enhancements made to the sweep feature in SOLIDWORKS 2016. So in previous versions, we know that to make a sweep, we need a profile and a path, which we have here. So I'll go ahead and select our sketch profile and our path, and we can create the sweep like this here. New in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is the option to have SOLIDWORKS create the circular profile for us here if we know we're going to be creating a sweep with a circular profile. So this saves us a lot of time. We no longer need to create a separate sketch just for that circular profile. All we need to do is specify a diameter value here and then select the path and that sweep is created for us just like that. Another thing to point out here in 2016 is that the reference curves are no longer absorbed by the sweep feature. In 2015 the sweep feature absorbs all those entities here. So if I needed to make any edits or changes to these sketch uh, geometry, it could be pretty difficult. Um, if we wanted to add some geometry to this here and reference any of these other ones, we can't. So in 2016, that job becomes a lot easier because we can go here, edit the sketch. We'll show this one here. And let's say we want this one to be collinear with this line here. So we can actually apply that sketch relation here very easily. Another great enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is the ability to create bidirectional sweeps. And what that means is that we no longer need to have the profile for the sweep at either end of the path. This profile here lies in the middle of the sweep path. So we can create this sweep here using the bidirectional sweep option. So when we go to create the sweep, we'll select our profile, select the path, and we can create the swept geometry on either side of the path. We can go in one direction here, the direction two, and also bidirectionally here, which is what we want. Furthermore, we can even add some twist to this here and we have the ability to control the twist for each of these directions here. Make sure everything lines up there and we'll say OK. So with the new enhancements to the sweep feature in 2016 we can create our swept geometry a lot quicker and a lot easier. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am with these new enhancements to the sweep feature and check out our YouTube channel for additional videos just like this one here. Thanks for watching.